Hi guys, welcome to Techno News, episode 37 for the 3rd of April. I hope you had a good Easter. I've took a bit of a time out, uh, spent a bit of time with the family and stuff. I had my daughter over for the majority, so I haven't really had much time to get on gaming and things like that. I took a bit of a breather. Uh, it's been nice, just have a bit chill. Uh, I say chill, as chill as you can get with a bunch of nine-year-olds running around causing havoc. But yeah, I hope you're doing all right. I'm going to push on through some of the news highlights and things again. I do appreciate all the support. Even though I haven't really been on, some of the regulars have popped up asking how things are and stuff like that. So I do really appreciate the support. If you haven't already done so, please hit the sub button. I uh, would appreciate that. I'm still trying to push for viewing hours. So if you wouldn't mind watching some more of my videos, I'd be very grateful for that. If you got a spare minute here or there, just click some of my videos through hit the thumbs up on this video be very much appreciated and leave some feedback even just an emote just to try and generate some sort of engagement would be very much appreciated remember to follow my socials x on tiktok at technofish live and catch me live hopefully back in the track most nights from around 10 o'clock here on youtube gaming uh, in the meantime let's hit the news and see what's been going on shall we Right, yeah, so it's that time of year. It's been hard finding news without sort of falling into traps of April Fools and things like that. This was quite a good one, actually. It was blatantly fake, um, but Razer announced a new chair, and it was basically a gaming chair where it had Dr. Octopus arms. It was called a Cthulhu chair, and it sort of handed him his food and his headset and controllers and stuff like that. It was, it was quite amusing, to be fair. But yeah, it's been hard missing some of them, to be fair. That one was quite obvious, um, but some of them have been a little bit trickier to navigate. Firstly, around Twitch, to be honest, um, there's been a spate on there. I don't know if you've seen the, the latest trends on there. People broadcasting uh, gameplay on various parts of their anatomy by wearing green shorts or green tops and using them as green screens and broadcasting gameplay through that. There's also been some weird ones where they've been sat in bikinis on see-through chairs with cameras in dodgy places and stuff like that. Um, and a new community guidelines update, they've tried to ban butts and boobs again. In a statement that said content that focuses on intimate body parts for a prolonged period of times will not be allowed. Yeah, we'll believe that one. We'll see. It'll be interesting to see what sort of work around they come up with uh, with regards to that. Because creators being creators they're going to find ways around these things and find new ways to sort of get dodgy content out there there was an announcement of a new game marvel have announced a uh, six on six versus shooter mode game a bit like overwatch called marvel rivals it might be interesting this to be fair i've not really played much of overwatch for a long time to be honest so I might give it a look and see. I'm assuming it's going to be free to play, but we'll we'll keep an eye on it and see what's what. So basically, you just pick from your favourite heroes and villains from the Marvel Universe and do escort missions and stuff, capture zones, very much Overwatch. be interesting to see how that plays. See what additional mechanics they've added to it. It looks like there's going to be like team-up moves and things like that. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on it and see what that's all about. I said, I'm assuming it's going to be free to play, but we shall see. Um, similarly with the superhero vibe, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League have announced, well, they released their first season with the Joker character being involved. Apparently it's fell on its arse, much like the game has from day one. It's been running at around 300 players concurrently. Um, for since launch pretty much um, it spiked to around 3,000 at the time the Joker patch came out but it's dropped back down again um, straight after that uh, it does look pretty grim to be fair um, the Joker himself looks pretty poor model wise apparently the voice isn't great and the gameplay doesn't really add anything new to the game so all in all, a bit of a waste, considering this was supposed to be the big hitter. It hasn't done exactly what it said on the tin. So, yeah, I'm pleased I didn't bother with that game in the end. This one's quite amusing. Tekken 8 director, Kachihiro Harada, has been on Twitter recently. Apparently he's been getting a lot of requests for a Waffle House level to be made 
and Tekken 8 and he's put a tweet out asking sort of why basically he said why does some communities send me requests for Waffle House please be sure to explain the basis of the request including the original story history and background um, it's basically on the back of some of them viral videos going around of people scrapping in the Waffle House chucking chairs at people and stuff like that uh, very reminiscent of the chicken coop opposite pizzazz on a night out um, lots of drunken idiots in there scrapping and uh, they're going to be interesting it'd be amusing to have a level based on that in Tekken here so people can have drunken fights. Um, that's quite fun. As you can see, this is one of the, the viral videos where the last blocks of chair getting thrown at her. Um, yeah, it, it's good that people have a sense of humour about this sort of stuff, to be honest. Uh, speaking of sense of humour, I thought this was in April Fools, to be fair, um, and then I checked the date of the publish of the story, and it was March the 27th, apparently Cheech and Chong are going to be coming to Call of Duty. Um, I was pretty sure, sure this was in April Fool, to be honest, but the story was published on the 27th of March, so it may or may not be. It's just getting sillier and sillier, that game. Some of the... let us know what you think in the comments. Uh, Phil Spencer's gone on record blaming capitalism for the games industry wars. Uh, Stating he doesn't have the luxury of not having to run a profitable, growing business inside of Microsoft. Stating there's no gro growth in the games industry in its current climate, hence all the layoffs and things recently. Um, he does seem to think that it will change and growth will happen again, but at the minute things are pretty bleak. He's had a lot of comeback for this, but in a way, I, I think he's sort of right. Um, a lot of the money at the minute's coming in through microtransactions and bullshit, um, which I'm going to speak about in a second. So it definitely needs to kick up the arse and a shake up. There needs some sort of change to happen within the game sector um, just to get that growth going again. But we'll find out. But as I said, with regards to microtransactions, uh, CD Projekt Red have put a statement out talking about The Witcher 4, saying it's not The Witcher 3 in new clothes. They are introducing new game mechanics and new elements to the games, which have not been seen in any of the previous titles and things like that. But they also went on to say that micro microtransactions have no place in, in their single-player games but they'll not be rolling it out in the multiplayer stuff. Obviously, Witcher 4 is sounding like it's going to be the start of a new trilogy. Whether there will be multiplayer aspects to it, I don't know, but it sounds like it is going to be more story for a single player, like the old ones were. Could be interesting to get into, get into those when they come out. And speaking of layoffs and things, on the opposite side of things, Take Two's bought out Gearbox games from Embracer. It looks like it's a bit of a shady deal with um, shares passing hands as opposed to money or a bit of money and shares. Um, they have confirmed that there is development on a new Borderlands game in production at the minute. It's going to be as part of the 2K umbrella. Um, apparently they have had a good relationship for a while so it's just sort of like helping each other out. But it seems strange that Embrace and let them go, to be honest. I thought if Borderlands with the film coming out and things like that, it would be in a good place, but apparently they've decided to get rid of it. I think they're doing a bit of a slimming down in general, to be honest. I think there was a statement saying they want to focus on making better games, and it's like, well, surely Borderlands was one of your better games, but never mind. Um, and that's pretty much it for now. Um, like I said, I've been away from gaming for a few days now. Look forward to getting back into Valorant and Unlocking Clove, finally. Um, I've got a few more Blood Bowl games lined up. They'll be coming in the next year or two as well. But I do appreciate all the support. I appreciate you coming by. Thanks for watching. And as I said, if you wouldn't mind watching one or two of my other videos as well, I'd be very grateful for that. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.